Hey there, have you ever wanted to add some extra cool features to your application but don't want the hassle of managing servers or infrastructure? Well, meet Firebase Cloud Functions and it allows you to run your backend code without worrying at all about the infrastructure behind it. In simple words, it's a service from Google that would easily allow you to run code on certain events like a new user sign up or maybe a database change in your application. You can write basic functions with JavaScript and Firebase function will take care of everything in terms of deployment and scaling without you worrying about it. So you can easily add cool features like processing images or sending push notifications without worrying about the technical details. So let's try it out right away and I'm sure you'll be impressed. So my goal for this video is in less than five minutes, create a cloud function from scratch. It, it will be a basic Hello World application, but still we will start from scratch. We'll do a Firebase init initialize our application with no code in the beginning and we'll deploy it and even test it out with running the API call that we just created. So let's get into the code right away. So we are going to start this video with an empty repository and no project on Firebase and we will do this as I said everything from scratch. So the first thing there are a few prerequisites that you need to take care of which is you need to have an account on Firebase so that you can do yourself that's not related to coding so I won't waste my time doing that and showing that to you. There's no challenge there. And the second prerequisite is you need to have a paid account, which is also known as Blaze Plan. However, don't worry about getting any bills or spending actual money because in the Blaze Plan, what we are going to do is we are going to create a Firebase function, right? And we are only doing this for education purposes, right? So up to 2 million requests a month, it's free. If there's no cost, you just need to upgrade to a paid plan so that if your request exceeds 2 million a month, only then you will be charged. And I'm sure you won't go over 2 million unless you're creating a huge application that's very popular. But you do need a paid account in order to set up a cloud function, right? So go ahead and do that and then come back and let's begin coding. So the first thing you need to run is this command npm install minus g or dash g Firebase tools. This will install all the necessary Firebase libraries that you need in order to basically run the Firebase commands on your terminal or in, on your command line. Now I already have this, so it's probably going to be quick for me and it might take a little more time on your side, but that's totally normal. Now the next thing we need to do is once that's done, we need to run Firebase login command, which will ask for our credentials and then log us in into our Firebase account. Now I already have an account and I'm already logged in, so I can go ahead and start the real step. Okay, so this is where the fun begins. Now we have to run Firebase init command, which will actually initialize our Firebase project and it will ask us what services would you like to use? I just want to use functions, so I'll select that, hit enter, then it's going to ask what project it is. Is it an existing project or is it a new project? I'm gonna say it's a new project, right? And I'm gonna say YouTube demo one, two, three, and obviously you can name your project better than I do, but let's just create a new project and see where it goes. This might take 30 seconds to one minute, depending on your internet speed and your, but usually it's about 30 seconds. So skip forward a few seconds. It now asks me what language would I like to use? Usually I do prefer TypeScript, but for now, and for this project, as we're just going to create a Hello World application, I'm going to go with JavaScript. Do you want to use ESLint to catch bugs and enforce styling? Yes, in big projects, it's good to do, but as I said, I'm going to create a basic application, so I'm going to avoid that. And yes, I want to install dependencies with NPM right away, because why not? So what this command is going to do is, if this command is going to create a functions folder. Let me know if you want me to zoom in more. Maybe this is better, right? And in this folder, we have a package.json file, known modules, whatever is downloaded, and the main code goes into the index.js. So this is where the code lies. This is the heart of our application, right? And Firebase functions is an NPM package by Firebase, which is already installed in this application. So let's go ahead and write our Hello World application using this. So first of all, what we have to do is we have to export a function. So whatever function you export here will be the function that is actually called when you run your Firebase function, which is a serverless application essentially, right? You can use this to fetch weather. We already have a video on YouTube where I use ChatGPT to do that on our channel. Go ahead and check that out if you're interested. For now, we're just gonna name it, let's say, hello function, right? Equal to, and then we are going to use the functions package, right? So I'm gonna say functions, dot HTTPS. So we are going to create an API that will help outside world connect to this application, right? And then we are going to say on request. Whenever this request comes in, we can name it request and response, obviously, right? And here we will use an arrow function to basically write our logic inside it. 
Now, within these brackets, whatever you write is your code. Now, this can be hundreds of lines of code or as simple as simply returning response dot JSON. I'm just going to return a message. As I said, we are going to create a Hello World application, but this is valuable because you are now creating a first serverless application probably in your life. And if you learn something new, please let us know in the comments down below or hit the like button. We really appreciate it. Let's say Hello World this or Hello World from a serverless application. I'm just kidding. Okay, so hello world from service application. So as you can see, the code is very simple, no fluff here. All we are doing is we are just returning a response in a JSON format, which will contain a message. And the message is hello world from a serverless application. Now, the question of the century is how to actually deploy this function, right? Is it very complicated? The answer is not at all. Like it's so simple that it's silly. I just have to run this command, Firebase deploy only functions and one when i run this command that's it that's the end we have successfully deployed but as i said we have to make a blaze plan which is a pay as you go or a paid plan on firebase now this plan is per project so you might have 10 projects on firebase but you have to you can decide paid or free version on each and every project right so let's go ahead in this project and it already gives me a link in the error so i'll click on the link let me bring it here and I'm just going to click on upgrade, right? So I'm going to say modify plan, select this one, inform me if budget increase $5. As I said, you don't really need to worry because it's 2 million requests are free, included in a free plan, but there you go. Now that we have upgraded, let's go back to the project and run this command again. So Firebase deploy only functions. So it says your API is enabled and soon it's going to register an API, a REST API with a hello function or a function name, whatever we write here, it can be ABC, XYZ, whatever, fetch weather, push notification, whatever we want. And this function, we would be able to call with the help of an API. And I'm going soon going to show that to you with using my Postman application. And as you can see, mine is deploying in US Central. So these are the server location that Firebase has. If you are in India or China or Africa or America, it depends on your location and it will try to find the best server location for you. So you don't need to worry about this. It's automatically selected. However, you can still go ahead in your settings of the project and change the location yourself. Right. So if you let's say you're creating an application, let's say you were in Brazil, but you were creating an application for people in Pakistan. Well, you'd probably want a server that is located near India, Pakistan, or near that Southeast Asia region, right? So you can decide that, you can choose it, but Firebase will automatically choose one for you by default. And there you go, beautiful. It is deployed and we already have a link. If I copy this and go to my Postman, let's see if this link actually works. And if it does, then you see how simple it is to create a serverless application today. Okay, so over here, I'm going to paste this. Let's run, fingers crossed. And there you go. Hello world from a serverless application. My mind was blown the first time I did this because I used to think serverless applications are a mystery, complicated. You know, we have heard about AWS Lambda function, which is essentially the same thing, but by Amazon. Firebase function is by Google. That's the only difference essentially, but they are the same service, the same kind of feature that different cloud service providers provide. Right. And I used to think it's so complicated, but now my mind is blown how easy it is. I hope you also have bridged the gap of knowledge today in order to launch your first ever serverless application or a Firebase function in this particular case. And I hope this will encourage you to create your own application and more complicated ones. Obviously, this is just a hello function. But as I said, if you want to learn about a little few more examples, more complicated or sophisticated applications, then uh, check out this video where we fetched weather for any city in the world using a Firebase function. But if this was the first time and you learn anything new, let us know in the comments down below. Also, feel free to ask your questions. We try to reply to majority comments that we get on our channel. And let us know if this video helped you. Hit the like button, subscribe for more content on development and management, and see you later. Bye.